Ugly Inside TV at the pub after the game. Uh, Nick, Watford 2, Southampton 2. Uh, Clover's not very happy, but Nick, you're positive to take out today somehow. Uh, but Pellegrini once again has, uh, has lost a, 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 a winning position from, uh, you know, this time we're 2-0 up. Pellegrino has lost a winning position and I am certainly not a Pellegrino fan and I just am clueless about the substitutions he's made and the way it's gone. But I am positive from the fact that there's still 15 games left to go this season and as long as there's still three points to win and go on, we've got to be positive because there's no other choice but to be positive. Uh, things have to change. If they change, if we get a new manager, we sign two new players, we're well capable of staying up. We've gone up. It feels like a defeat, but it's not. We've moved up a position. Um, and that's all we can do. I mean, I know Clive is not as positive as me on this, and I know the passion he's got, but he's been involved in as many relegation battles as I have as a supporter. And it feels like a defeat, but it's not. We've got to pick ourselves up, dust ourselves down. And I'll tell you what, there is still more fight and passion in that team today than there is in the team that went down in 2005. So I'm, I'm, I'm not happy. I'm not happy, clappy. Uh, everything's great and everything's going to be fine. But at the end of the day, it's going to be bad enough if we go down on the last day. So I'm not going to ruin 15 other weekends yet. 14. Well, it's, it feels like such a bad performance 13, bringing a tear to my eye. Games. But no, Nick, you, you've mentioned the substitutions there. And it's once again, it feels like we're talking about the same record. This time he makes the two substitutions at 90 minutes. You know, we're complaining earlier on this season, he makes too late at 60, 65, 70, 80, etc. But he brings on, uh, is it Buffal and uh, Gabbiadini towards the, on the 90th minute. No, it's Buffal and Josh Sims, Sims wasn't it? Yeah. Josh Sims, yeah. Sims, see, I do know what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> what is the point in bringing on Buffal and Josh Sims in the final minutes of injury and, and even then and even then Pellegrino held off to bring it Sims on because he wanted to wall press to protect that corner yeah. I mean at the end of the day if you're running down the clock when you're running down the clock you're running down the clock because you're trying to hang on so to be fair to Josh Sims he's a great player he's, he's an attacking player he's an offensive player but you bring on someone I don't know who else said on the bench uh, Bednarek you bring on a defender or a defensive midfield player. You don't throw on a guy who ain't played for about eight months because of injury for the last two minutes. It's chaotic. Something has to change. If something changes, we stay up. Uh, the manager has to be changed. And if there's a positive to come, perhaps that will happen. But I'm, I'm not. Me and Clive have been speaking for a long time before we've come on to this. And, uh, it's not great and I'm not standing up for any of it but there are positives to take because when you are in a relegation battle when we are in a relegation battle you've got to be positive you've, you've got to banish the negatives and move forward there's positives to be taken from today uh, and the one positive is A, the side did look like they battled a lot more than they have done Lamina looked a better player if it had been two all and we'd equalised in the last minute we'd be happy but as Clive said I mean, it, 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 it were two excellent goals though the first half two excellent strikes from War Prowse once again nice and clean two excellent uh, works uh, to get up there on the counter attack War Prowse has been massively underrated in his Saints career you know he deserves to start next weekend and then next weekend in the short term future does a manager need to change is there due a few transfers or a few arrivals to help us push up James War Prowse is a case of players need to step up to the plate James what Steve Williams when he played at 16 17 stepped into the side and said I'm here I deserve to be here and I'm going to do this James Will Prowse has been in for five years and he's still almost apologizing that he's still in there he needs to have a swagger and a sway about him he's a great he, he's a good player he's a Premier League player he's been here for five years he's been six years but he's got to believe in himself and that's what we're lacking belief uh, and perhaps it's down to the manager to give belief but players have to have belief in themselves and unfortunately too many players haven't got the belief in themselves haven't got the ball James Ward has not become the player that he looked like he should be at 17 
now he's 22, 23. Um, Lost for words though, Nick. Lost for words. Lost for words.